Hey guys, it's me, Michael Dalgun, and today I am going to show you what to do before, during, and after an earthquake. But before that, let's roll the intro. Oof, that was cheesy. Anyways, before I start showing you what to do before, during, and after an earthquake, let me give you a quick overview of what is an earthquake. So the earthquake is a natural occurrence and it is an intense shaking of Earth's surface. The shaking is caused by moving Earth's outermost layer. So what do you really need to do before an earthquake? Well, you can't really predict when will an earthquake occur but it is important to be ready at all times. So here's what you need to do before an earthquake. First, develop a family earthquake plan. It is important to plan with your family on what you need to do when an earthquake occurs. Second, decide how and where your family will reunite if separated. Third, know the safe spots in each room, under sturdy tables, desks, or against inside walls. Know the danger spots, windows, mirrors, hanging objects, fireplaces, and tall, unsecured furniture. Learn first aid and CPR. And the last but the most important, maintain emergency food, water, and other supplies including a flashlight, a portable battery operated radio, extra batteries, medicines, first aid, and clothing. Now that I've told you what to do before an earthquake, let's talk about what to do during an earthquake. Oh no. If indoors, stay there and take cover under a table, desk, or other sturdy furniture. Face away from windows and glass doors. Protect your head and body from falling or flying objects. Remain where you are until the shaking stops. Think out of your plan of action first, then move. If outside, get into an open area away from trees, buildings, walls, and power lines. Lie down or crouch low to maintain balance. Oof. That earthquake was intense. Now that we're done talking about what you need to do during an earthquake, let's talk about what to do after an earthquake. First, check for injuries. Render first aid. Do not move seriously injured victims unless they are in immediate danger. Do not use the telephone immediately unless there is a serious injury, fire, or other emergency. Second, check utilities such as water, gas, electric, if there is a damage, turn the utility off at the source. Third, check food and water supplies. Fourth, plan for evacuation in case events make this necessary. Leave written messages for other family members or searchers. And the last, be prepared for aftershocks. Aftershock? What is an aftershock? Oh. Oh no. 
I need to hide guys One thing Don't forget what I told you to do